Should you file a provisional or non-provisional application first? The decision to file a provisional or a non-provisional application first is based on the speed at which you want to get a patent granted or whether you want to delay patent-related legal expenses. If you want your patent as fast as possible, then you need to file a non-provisional patent application. A provisional application is never examined and can never become a patent. When you file a non-provisional application, it enters the queue or the line for examination. The Patent Office examines all applications on a first-come, first-served basis. You have to wait about one to three years before the Patent Office works through its backlog until it gets to your application. If you can't wait that long, you can always request expedited examination, which brings your application up to the front of the line and gets examined out of turn. With expedited examination, your application will be examined in about four to six months after filing. This procedure helps you to get your patent as soon as possible. However, you need to understand that this also compresses all of your legal expenses related to your patent within that short period of time. On the other hand, if you want to delay your patent-related legal expenses or at least spread them out over a longer period of time, then you need to file a provisional application first. As I stated before, the provisional application is never examined. Within one year after filing your provisional, you have to file a non-provisional application that claims priority back to your provisional. At this time, your non-provisional application enters the queue for examination. You wait one to three years for the patent office to work through its backlog. This means that you've delayed your patent-related legal expenses for an extra year. This procedure helps you to delay your patent-related legal expenses as much as possible. However, this procedure also delays the grant of your patent. Let's say after all of this, you still don't know what to do. You don't know if you want to delay patent-related legal expenses or get your patent as fast as possible. In this scenario, you should file a provisional application first. By filing the provisional application first, you can always change your mind later and file the non-provisional application. You can even change your mind the day after filing the provisional. However, when you file the non-provisional application first, you cannot change your mind and revert the non-provisional to a provisional. My name is James Yang. I'm a patent attorney, engineer, and author. I help inventors patent their inventions and trademark their brands. I also wrote Navigating the Patent System to help inventors like you get through the patent process. After hundreds of granted patents and registered trademarks, I'm confident I can help you.